how to add a browser icon to your shopify store hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you all you need to do in order to upload or add a browser icon favicon whatever you want, you want to call it so basically if you just go to online store and preview it what i'm trying to say here is this icon here at the top you can see by default it's going to be this i believe this is a planet if i'm, if I'm not mistaken um so it's going to be this by default, but you can feel free to change it to be anything really. And you can just go in and create it. So simple answer is going to be going to customize to your Shopify store. So again, just go to online store themes and click on customize. From here, we basically will have the option to add our logo and favicon easily uh, in this section. Uh, it's just, you know, let's just wait for it to load. And once it actually loads in, uh, we can see the gear icon on the on the left panel here. It says theme settings. So you're just going to click on theme settings. And then you will find the first one, which is going to be logo. Now, it could be different for your theme, I believe. But you will find it, uh, the logo option. Click on that. And it's just going to show us the logo upload. And then if you scroll down a little bit, it's going to say favicon image. So this is the image that we're talking about. This is the browser icon that we are discussing. So just go in and click on select image and you would want to upload image from here and you would want to just go in and select a proper image that is going to suit the size needed for a favicon. I'm just going to try to find, um, it's not going to fit. Uh, it's way too large for a favicon, but you can actually upload it. And nonetheless, it's not going to look great. But anyways, this is, uh, pretty much how it's actually going to work um, and if we just click on save and exit out of here let's preview it I know it's not going to look great but uh, we can actually see it is going to change as you can see now it is very very cropped and you can barely see anything so in this case uh, if you actually want to create one or maybe, let's say you have a logo that you want to use and you want to make it a favicon all you need to do is just go and open up a new browser tab uh, and just search for uh, favicon maker and you will find this one which is favicon.io click on it and you will find yourself in here so you have the option to do image to icon text to icon or even emoji to icon it's completely up to you but most likely it's going to be an image so click on this option and then all you need to do is just go and drag and drop or click on upload like this uh, and upload the image that you want to turn into a favicon so i'm just going to use this one and now click on download and it's actually going to download it in a zip file with multiple different formats and so if we extract this file we will find a lot of images including these two which is favicon 16 by 16 and 3 uh, 32 by 32 both of them are going to work so let's just go in and select them so let's just go back to shopify and again, just click on customize. We can delete this. We don't really need it anymore. Click on settings, logo, and change this time. Uh, select from library. And then we would want to click on add images. Uh, and we want to go to desktop where we added that image. And we are going to be using this one right here. 32 by 32, I believe is going to be better in our case. If I'm not mistaken here, you may want to try both. Uh, to see which one suits you best and then we can just go in and exit out of here oh i did not save make sure you save on the top right and then exit out of here and we can just again preview it and it's now it's going to be updated for us again my my image that i used is not really the best um it's not even loaded yet but the image that I use is, again, not the best because it is text. Usually, favicons should not be text because it's not real readable anymore. Make sure it's a logo or something, you know, that is going to be a little bit more visible. But now you can see the entire thing actually fits now. So, yeah, this is all for this video. Hopefully, you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.